Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching this special episode of Really Dicey. This is Manny, and I'm here with... Mike Mason from Casium. Hi. <laughs> uh, thank you again for uh, talking to us again about, about your great books and products coming out of Chaosium, especially from the Call of Cthulhu line. So today we're going to sort of sort of talk about this. This is the old... Uh, like, wow, I can't believe I can say that. This is the old Call of Cthulhu starter set. Um, I picked it up a few years ago, and I believe we did a review of it. I'll put a link to that below. Uh, fantastic starter set. But there's a new version out. Um, oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, even though I have I have this already, the art for that looks just so so magnificent. <laughs> so uh, for for what has been some of the change besides the art? Uh, what has been some of the changes between each starter set? Um, so it's, 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 it, there isn't a lot of changes. You know, it is a technically still the same Call of Cthulhu starter set. Uh, but what has changed, uh, because we had the 40th anniversary of Call of Cthulhu uh, at the end of last year, you know, around Halloween into November, um, we, we actually knew at that point, well, just before, we knew that um, we were running low on stock of the, of the original you know, start to step boxes. So we knew we'd be doing a reprint and it just seemed like a great time to actually refresh the box art and just uh, look about just um, uh, fixing a few minor, minor issues in the original uh, with the reprint. And so, you know, we thought we would tie it into the 40th anniversary and do what we were calling the kind of 40th anniversary version of the Call of Cthulhu starter set. So that really means in, in, in real terms, uh, we have um, new box art um, and um, and uh, we've also redesigned the covers of the three internal books. Now the art's pretty much the same, but we've done a bit of a, a new design because we thought that would be cool. Um, we've gone through the books and as I say, there's literally a, a small handful of little typos and things we've just fixed. Um, but ultimately, you know, the, the scenarios are the same. The, the book two, which is the core rules for Call of Cthulhu, are all still there and the same. Um, the, the bits in the box that are slightly different is the we did a new design of the Call of Cthulhu character sheet. Uh, for the 40th anniversary. And so the new designed character sheets are in the box. So you have a, a number of blank sheets, uh, which you can you know write on or photocopy. Um, and there's also the set of pre-generated ready to play uh, investigators that come in the set. And they have obviously been put onto the new character sheets as well. And the thing about the new character sheets is they, they're pretty much like the old character sheets, but they're a little easier to read. The text is a little bit bigger. They've been redesigned by uh, my, my Matt Ryan and myself, um, and you know we like we think the design is a little cleaner and uh, easier to use, basically. And um, so the the uh, the new sheets are in the box. The uh, the handouts and player maps uh, originally in the very first printing of the starter set, uh, they were actually printed double sided, so you you couldn't cut them out. But now we printed them all one sided. Uh, so if you wanted to cut them out or, you know, crumple up the handouts to make them more authentic, you can do that now and it won't damage any of the, of the, of the handouts or maps. So little, you know, really, really slight little improvements, really, just to uh, make it as usable as possible. Um, and obviously you get, you know, you still get a set of dice in the box as well. Um, and, um, you know, it's, it, as I say, it's a, you know, we've, just turning up the dial in terms of quality and improvement on the box set from what it was before. And it was, you know, it was a great, really high quality box set before. So this is just, you know, pushing the bar just, and you know, a few millimeters higher. Uh, Cause it's, uh, you know, it's got some, you know, refreshed new great artwork and, um, you know, is a, is a great place to start playing Call of Cthulhu. You know, it does what it says on the box. It's a starter set that, um, takes you and assumes that you know nothing about role playing and that you know nothing about the Call of Cthulhu game. And uh, it just takes you through the entire process. So by the end of you know reading it and running the games that you get in the box, you 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 know you're a proficient um Call of Cthulhu keeper and you mm -hmm. can 
you know, pick up uh, pick up a book and and um, start running games or designing your own or whatever. And um, you know, it's uh, it opens the uh, the gate to all the all the great gaming that you have for Call of Cthulhu. Um, and um, yeah, I'm not sure um, what else I could say, but uh, I guess the one thing to say is uh, it's designed that you you know you start playing immediately. That you know you get the box set, you take it home, and there's a solo play, kind of choose your own adventure path scenario in the first book that you open. And so you get the dice, you get your character sheet, and you get the book, and you you know have it on your own. You play a game of Call of Cthulhu, and get that experience to kind of get a feel for is this the kind of game you like for a start? And hopefully it is. And once you've gone through that solo it's really kind of bases you in terms of learning the rules by doing. And so it's not, it's not onerous to learn the rules for Call of Cthulhu. We, you know, we tried to make it as fun and simple as possible in that way. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So it sounds like uh, uh, content, written content is the same. Uh, just the art's been, and the layout's just been uh, updated and tweaked. So it just um, makes it more modern, I guess you could say. For anyone that loves to start a set, uh, what would you, what one or two books would you recommend from the uh, Chaosium line of Call of Cthulhu would you recommend next for them to try out? If you're um, if you're new to role playing and this is your first game, then um, I would I would definitely recommend Gateways to Terror, which is three more Call of Cthulhu stories, but they're very short, they're very focused, uh, they play well in just one evening of play, only lasting about you know around about two hours at most. Um, and so they're, they're really an easy way to play some more short Call of Cthulhu games. And then if you're looking for something a little a little longer, maybe that lasts a whole evening or maybe two or three evenings, you know, if you're going to start playing regularly, then the adventures in Doors to Darkness, uh, there's five different adventures in there. And they're full scenarios, but again, they're written for beginning keepers and beginning players as well. And so they, they're very, um, they're very much geared to ensuring that you know they help you and guide you through the process of running Call of Cthulhu. Um, and beyond that, uh, having played any or all of those, you are good to go, and you can pick up any Call of Cthulhu book, whether it's uh, Mansions of Madness and scenarios about haunted houses, or or whether you want to pick up a campaign like um, you know even Masculine Appetite or or the new one we've just released, which is a time to harvest, which is particularly you know, focused on um, you know more novice and intermediate keepers. But really, anything you know, if you if you feel um, feeling confident with the rules and you're getting a good sense of how how the game plays through, having done the starter set and a book like Doors of Darkness, literally any book in the Call of Cthulhu line, you know, you are kind of good to go with. It may be that you want to. You want to really go deep dive into the kind of pulp Cthulhu side of things and, and kind of you know find that actually your characters and players are really enjoying kind of more combat and action orientated kind of scenarios. Then maybe uh, something like Pulp Cthulhu, the Pulp Cthulhu supplement, um, is would be something you're interested in. If you're if you're not so much into that and you're into the kind of the more kind of gritty, kind of um, slow burn, kind of investigative kind of horror, then you know. There's many books from you know Berlin, the Wicked City, through to um, uh, I'd say Time to Harvest and uh, Mansion of Madness, and and you know you get into all sorts, you know Children of Fear, and uh, uh, any any of the books in our kind of line would be of uh, would be of interest. It's really a case of looking at the books and which one to jump out at you is the most you know what what really kind of piques your interest, you know um, because our books cover a lot of ground and uh you know if you're into you know the wild west we've got things that cover that if you're into the dark ages of england we can do that mm. uh and um you know we, we're also you know we've got victoriana and kind of gaslight england and europe and you know as well as 1920s 30s modern day scenarios whatever you like so I, as i say the starter set is very much a gateway into all of this and um, and um, you know is is a whole lifetime of gaming fun really, which is what it's been for me. So uh, hopefully everyone else can you know enjoy that too. Mm. Mm. 
Well, thank you so much for talking to us about the starter set. Um, I know I love the old one. I think I'll pick up the new one anyway, just because the art looks so good. And, um, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, so thank you, sir, for taking the time to talk to us. And um, to everybody's out there, be safe, take care. We'll see you next time.